Hi guys, what are we gonna do today? You know what we're gonna do today? Can you guess? We're not making trees. We are making these cute stocking boxes that you can fill. They sit on a ledge. You could use them for an advent, for gifts, as ornaments. Let's get started. Okay, so this is the template we're gonna use to make these cute little box stockings. In the description below, you, we will have a link to this template that you can print out. And what I did is I printed it onto a heavier piece of cardstock so it would be a little heavier to work with and it would stand well. This is the paper I wanted on the front of my stocking, but I only wanted it covered from this dotted line to here. So before I glue this down, I think since I'm not gonna have this tab covered, I am just gonna cut where this tab is so I know where to glue my paper to. And I only want it covered to here, so I'm gonna cut this little notch out also. I am lining up so the paper goes all the way down to here. Then I'm going to cut him out. So these solid lines are cut lines and the dotted lines are score lines. So our stocking is covered. So now that we've got this cut out, I am gonna score on the dotted lines. And I'm gonna take an X-Acto and make a small slit where this solid line is. So I'm gonna make a little slit right here. And this is where my tab is going to go into. Using my scoreboard and a stylus, score these lines. But if you have a ballpoint pen that doesn't work anymore, there's no ink, that works just as well to use a ruler and draw down that line. And here I am just scoring from there to there. And also be sure when you're scoring, you don't press so hard that you rip your paper. Folding my edges up here. It'll be a little tighter at the top because that's where we added the extra paper. When you're done with this part, even if you didn't put this paper on the front, you could have painted your, your whole box. You could have you know, any way you would like to decorate it. So, I just wanted to use this stencil and I'm putting it over the top of this paper and I'm gonna stencil it on here. I am just going to carefully lay this here so I don't get paint everywhere else. And I know I'm only going to here, so I folded my tab down, put paint on the end of my brush, dab most of it off so it's more like a dry brush. Up and down motion. So I'm just gonna let this dry for a couple moments. So my paint is dry on this and I am just using uh, Vintage Photo Distress Oxide. And I'm just gonna go over my edges and go over the front where I had stenciled. And if you really wanted it more vintage, you could use a crackle stamp on here. There are so many other things you could do. This is water activated, so I'm gonna get it a little wet around the edges so it just blends in. Okay, I'm just gonna let this dry and we're gonna put it together. So my antiquing is on there. I've spread it around. It's just water, so it's, it's fairly dry. And now I'm just gonna seal it. And you probably don't need to seal it. I just want to. Um, I'm using a polyacrylic crystal clear. So I'm going over the top of this and it'll just make it a little more sturdy. So after this dries, we will finish putting it together. Okay, so this is all dry. I'm going to use a heavy double stick tape on my edges to close this. Putting one down there on that flap and one on that flap. I'm going to lightly just touch these together. So I'm going to fold this. And the best way for me to secure it is to go on the inside. My finger and press down on there. And on the bottom piece, I'm going to fold this piece in and put this in the little slit that we had made. And that's how we put him together. We had done another one with blue. I'm just gonna give you some ideas. You could add 
a tie, a ribbon, maybe a greenery wreath, but I thought this wreath would be really pretty on here. So you can come up with however you would like to embellish your stockings, but the fun part is that they will set on a ledge. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Below in the description, we have a link so you can pull the template up to make these cute little stocking boxes. And you can even use them as an advent, add little numbers, but it's fun because they sit on a ledge. I would love to see what you guys come up with. Give this a shot, give it a try, but have fun.